In this SOLIDWORKS tutorial, we'll learn how to model this part. Actually a tricky part because it had ribs, so we'll learn the rib tool. We'll uh, also learn how to use PhotoView. So file new, I'll use millimeter and we'll start from the top view. So I'll sketch on the top view. Line. and I'll roughly draw the outline. L to stop the line, smart dimension, and we can start to create the dimension. So this is 200 mil. This one I use 40, 50. So this one is a bit larger, 165. I'll leave this one alone because it can subtract 50 from 200 and so this must be 150, I think. Here we'll uh, want a radius, so I'll go circle and I'll drop it here. Smart dimension, and we'll use a diameter of 80. If you want to see a radius, you right-click, display option. We don't need this, trim entities. Click on drag on what you don't want. Finally, a fillet here to round the corner. I use 25 mil. So now we can go in 3D. I middle click and drag. If you want to go back flat, you go Control plus 8. Extrude boss. And here I use 65. Uh, we'll do a rib. I want to draw a line on this plane. So uh, this face, I click on the face. I go sketch. So now I'm on the floor and I use the line tool and I make sure I snap from this edge, this corner to this corner. L again. So I only drew one line. Feature, rib. Then he asks you if you want to go this way, you can switch, go up, go down. You could also have a taper or draft and you can say only one thickness and here I only want one. This is a bit too thick, so I'll go five. And what's great with this is that even if you change this point, the rib will follow. It's a parametric. It will remember its location. Then we need to do a cutout here. So select this face, sketch. We could go Control 8, so it's easier to see. Line, L. L again to close. We can use Extrude Cut tool. And we want to make sure it's going this way and we want to go through all. And here under Selected Contour, you can click here, so you will only get rid of this. Same thing here, Sketch, Line, or press L. Extrude Cut, Through All, and in Selected Contour, you can make sure it's this one. Use this plane from the top. We'll go sketch, control eight, and here we'll draw a rectangle, and we'll draw it like this. And here we make sure that we snap. Same here. We could actually start here. Now we can dimension. So we want five mil from here to there. Then here, so it looks like we draw it on an angle, but we actually draw it flat, and that's fine. Now we can cut, so extrude cut. We want to cut up to vertex, and you can take this point. Voila. And fillet, this and this, this will be 10. Then we can do the smaller one here and here. Five. Now here we'll draw the path for the holes. So click here, sketch, control eight, 
and we can draw a circle here hover to find the midpoint they won't be the same huh? circle again you drag first we use the tracking and here the distance between here and there is 16 the diameter is 25 and here here to here is 19 and the diameter 30 as this one is wider then we can extrude and I use 5 now from the top I want to empty out quite a bit here so the first thing I'm gonna do extract those line here those arc so to do this I'll sketch on this face so you click once sketch and then you select what you want to extract so I'll select this shift click to select multiple and we'll use something on the sketch called convert entities and you see it extracted them then we can use an offset click on those lines and we can reverse it we don't want this line so we can say base construction center line and I think I was only using 5 mil perfect and so this one won't show up it's a center line then we use a line and we want that line horizontal we want to draw another line here this one vertical what's outside here doesn't matter because it'll get cut out so those two doesn't really matter the shape the reason I didn't connect them is because I want them to be 5 mil and if I connect it won't let me move it so now I can with this and to connect them what we can do is drag that point pass we could actually stop it here it's the same they both work I'll show you and trim this or you trim both and here is a new tip we're gonna cut this using feature extrude cut but we usually use sketch plane with that face we can also do an offset and this is quite nice because you can go here and you just have to go other direction five this is the minus the and now it's going to leave this piece and the next you can just say through all so it'll go through the whole thing so now we have a step here which is quite nice time to fillet those lines here those edges so fillet we use five mil and fillet those two and those one and this one voila here is something new we want the whole corner here to be rounded we can do this with a advanced fillet if you go on fillet and click here it's called full round fillet you see it wants to know the the fillet the side left and right so you pick here and you go here you pick this one and you give him the other wall and then you give him the one that gets the fillet and now we can get a run and it's a tangent here the same fillet so we can get this one this one this one and we can get this one now we want to chamfer here so we can go chamfer click here it was pretty small I think it was two mil that I used yeah you can also grab this one pick this one and I think we were also doing those those and those voila looks like machined fillet so fillet go to the regular fillet uh, I'll use not two I use one five because here it's a bit too close you see it's really close to the edge two would be too much now we want pinch those holes so we can use this plane too uh, doesn't really matter I'll make a new one sketch 
control plus 8, circle, hover to find the center. We'll make one here to hover, and they will all be the same size. So we select all of them using shift, and we go equal, then smart dimension one of them, and I use 10, I think. Then we go feature, extrude cut, through all. Last, but we had a hole here, could have almost do it at the same time. We can go back actually, edit, and here there was a larger hole here. So we wait, and here we could use 20. Voila, and for rendering here, I use plastic soft touch, I use the black, for the entire thing. If you want a little bit less black, you can go here, edit, and you see the black is here, so you could go maybe 31 on all of them. So it'll be a little bit gray. Then I use um, Scene Basic, and I use this one, double click, did something like this, and then I went Metal Aluminium Brush for all of those faces. So here the cut extrude, the other one, here I use the face, face, and here the chamfer. Then you find a, an angle you like, you use a perspective. You can go control middle click to pan. If you want to be very precise with the zoom, you go view, modify, zoom, in and out. And then you can really fine tune your zoom. Voila. Render tools preview window. Now I want more, we don't really see, I want the light to shine through this. I think I'm gonna Escape if you don't want to zoom anymore. I think more like this. But to get the light to shine well, edit scene, advance, and you can just rotate. And I think I use one or five. Voila, so then uh, the, it, it shines through here. And go offset to geometry. Then you'll get a clean shadow. So the rendering here, it's called uh, thread. Uh, it's how many core you have. So I have four core on my laptop, so it's eight thread. That will speed up the rendering. Uh, that's what uh, Modo is showing you here, Photo View 360. So the actual render, it's here, one to one. Uh, if you hit space bar, you can hide and hide the thumbnail. And I think also the option, uh, like this space bar. Bloom is to make things glow. Uh, it might work here because this is pretty bright. If you go Bloom, you don't really see it because you need more and it goes uh, uh, reverse. So if you go AD, you'll get more. And you see now it glows. Actually, here yeah, it's pretty cool. You can, it does work. Maybe less, 85. And Bloom X10, it's how far the Bloom goes. I think 5 is too much. 2 or 3 is good. Yeah, it's more realistic look. Then you save your image. If you save as a PNG, this will be transparent and you will get the shadow on a layer. Here I'm just going to use a JPEG. It, it, you do get compression. The best is to use stiff, but go save. Then open Photoshop. Open your file. And here is a few tricks. And this is not just with a CG render, it could be with any photo. Uh, those algorithms are pretty good, so you can go auto tone, and then you can go Control Shift F or Edit Fade, and you can fade it. And you just want a little bit of it. Same with this one, auto contrast and fade it. Same with this one, the color. So you see the fading is here, but we don't want too much of that. Voila. Something else here, it's very dark. You can go Image, Adjustment, uh, 
um, shadow highlight to bring the hidden detail and same thing faded just a little bit this one like a hair like even 10 percent is a lot i usually remove saturation so vibrance with cg render but here there's not much and i usually put a bit of vibrance and finally you could do uh, what else do i sometimes do a photo filter here we need blue because of the metal so we'll go i usually go yellow or blue and same thing we want to fade it a lot you see the metal look more realistic 